The first step of an electronics part of this 3D printer is to set up this rainbow wire over here. To take note that the top of the rainbow wire should facing top of where you plug in. The rainbow wire, you should bend it at 90 degrees so that it can go under the box like this. Your rainbow wire should bend at this position for the second time so that it can enter your y-axis more easily like that. Take notes that you shouldn't bend off any of the wire when it is under your y-axis so that it will not block this rock. After that, you should insert this two end into your heated bed. Please take notes of the direction of insert. You should take notes of that the first wire of the rainbow wire should be facing this direction. The middle two wire of your rainbow wire should be connected to these two wire of the, the mister over here. It's used to connect it between this board and your set motor over here. So now I'm going to connect the red wire facing outward like this. On the other hand, the, the black wire facing outward. This is all about your same motto. Next is this wire is to make the connection between the board and your Y motto. So similarly, the red wire will be facing to your left hand side. You plug it in at this position. Same thing, it is connected to your Y motor over here. Then the black wire should be upward. Like this. This is the next wire to make connection between the board and your white end stop. But one thing about this wire is both ends are red. It's difficult for us to distinguish which end should connect to where. So I'm going to use the multimeter to test the continuity of these two wires. So first, I'm going to test the one on the right hand side when the casing is facing upwards. So the one with the con continuity will be connected to the top of the motor over here. Okay. And the other one will be connected to the bottom of the motor. Facing will be facing downwards and should connect at this position. Used to connect to your X motor. And one thing to take note of is that this time the black wire is facing to your left hand side. So it should be connected. And the black wire for the motor should be facing inward. The wire is 
connected to your E motor, which located on your X axis. This one. This time, the red wire will be facing inwards. The black wire will be facing outwards. The black wire should be facing outwards. This is the next wire that is used to connect to a sensor. So the red wire, the red wire will be facing inwards when you connect that. So facing inwards. And this um, extra wire will be connected to the knife pin on the top. But you have to bend this pin for easy connection. And leave the other end of the wire unconnected for now. The last wire that we are going to connect to a heater and a thermistor. So first we have to connect this black and red wire. This black and red wire will be connected at top of this position over here. So the Black wire will be facing inside and the red wire will be facing outside. Now we should connect these two connectors. The yellow wire will be facing inside and the orange wire will be facing outside and you should connect it to this position and lastly is this the remaining connector the green wire should be facing inside and the blue wire should be facing outside at this position Similarly, leaves the other end of the wire unconnected for the time being. After you have put your air flow system and your driver in, it is now time for you to put in your remaining wires. So this wire is connected to your air flow system. And when you are connect it, the color must be matched with each other. And it's time for you to connect the remaining wire. And this is the wire for your air fan system. And these two wires are the power line for uh, your fans. And they are in red color and black color. And these two wires, these two wires in green and blue, are the wires that connect to your thermistor. And the remaining two wires, in my case, both of them are red, are connected to the heater. So, now, when you are connected with these two connectors, the color should be matched with each other. The orientation of the connector does not, ma does not matter as long as the color code of the wires are matched with each other. As you can see when you are connecting, the red wire should match with the red wire of your uh, fan and the black wire should be matched with your black wire. For the thermistor is similar. The green wire should be facing your green wire. Blue wire should be facing your blue wire. For the heater, since both of the wires are red, so the orientation of these two wires does not matter. So after you connect it, it should be something like this. The next step to do is to connect this connector to your PCB over here. 
and the blue wire should be facing left when you are connecting it and sometimes the connector may not be fit perfectly into your PCB and it is your time it is the time for you to fold it and when you have done the folding you it should be able to fit in perfectly like this you are done, you can use a multimeter to test the connectivity to ensure that the connections are there. This portion of the part is, helps you to collect all the wires inside so it will not be so messy. The that we are going to connect is the power in wire. Before we can connect, we have to strip the wire first and put the cream in so that we can connect better. The first step is to tear the wire apart. Like this. Next step is to strip the wire off. Keep the end a bit longer. After you've done stripping, the wire should be look something like this. After that, you should put the cream inside and and when you put the cream inside, you can see that the wire at the front should be something like this and it is just nice to come out a little bit. Next, you will have to use this tool to help you to cream the cream pin inside. You put the pin inside and cream it. After you are done, it should look something like this. And now you are ready to connect it in. After that, you need to insert this two wire at this two pin. This is how it should be look like when it is completed. You can see that the top wire should be always at the top. The last step is for you to insert this tube inside your driver. Insert this tube into this hole and you can use it, this piece to fix its position. You should insert the piece like this until you feel that it is perfectly fit in. And now you are successfully assembled a 3D printer. It is time to test it out.